you 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 can't tell me from the beginning what the ending was gonna be like. That was just in 1980. Then in 1981, when 1,578,500, somebody made the decision, let's kill a prophet, an apostle. Somebody going to work in the sound booth for God's glory. Somebody going to be married to a pastor and raise up godly kids. A missionary going to change the world. Somebody do gospel music. Maybe they didn't do preaching, but they're going to be a righteous judge in the land. Help keep uh, uh, social issues right. Everybody ain't got to be a pastor like we the only good thing God got. A social worker. Somebody, I mean, I just throw that in. It, it ain't God's best ain't just preachers. Yeah. No, nobody think we worth nothing, no how. But God got good police officers. Yeah. Come on. So somebody got to answer for that. But it's hell worship. And what scares me, the reason, one of the reasons why I just want these young people ain't got nobody hollering about how wrong it is, just like ain't nobody hollering about we don't need a weed store. And then go terminate it. And you ain't telling me that we ain't dealing with paganism? And we... All deception. And the church is the big, I got your hand first, Pastor. And the church is the biggest one who's deceived by thinking if we just be quiet, everybody going to come because we, we don't fear nobody because they might be had a devotion. They won't come back. That's a deception. Because our kids is sitting here, and they're about to have sex, and they're about to keep it from us. And somebody going to tell them, don't ruin your life. You run down on the corner, and now you ain't got to tell your parents about it. You can just go down and get it done. And young boy, you got a basketball career and a baseball and a football career, and you don't want this old big butt girl to stop you because she's swole and gone. And she terminated and pay $500, man. It's deception. It ain't nothing but bail, witchcraft, and parents, they want to do it in school, and, 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 and you ain't got, you can't say gay about it, they want to teach you about it, it ain't nothing but deception, and it's bail, go for it. Yes. Yes. And the female childs, because you don't know. Only when you get to heaven is God going to tell you, well done, my good. You say, well, I didn't think I did that much. But, man, you talked to somebody, and, 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 and Andrew was here because you hollered at him, Peter. So-and-so is here because you invited them, Peter. You, you, you show right. And the enemy is like, Every, every one of y'all, you young people right now, the enemy don't want you to raise no, raise no family. Ain't nobody trying to have no kids no more. Who wants kids? Y'all ain't taught to you know, get married and have you taught to have sex. But you ain't taught to, to meet somebody, marry, fall in love, and raise a family. Nobody, who wants an old raggedy kid? Snotty nose, got the colic, boo-boo and all the time. Don't know how to tell you they got to pee. Till they get about five. I, I got to go to the bathroom and pee now. Who wants one of them? 
Nobody want no kid. Who the hell, who wants a kid? <laughs> Ask somebody, who wants a kid? The people that got them. <laughs> Quiet and kept. <laughs> they, they, they got the, they don't want to tell nobody, but I got them. I love them. I don't want nothing to happen because I got them. But ask them if they want some more. A ask your mama and them if they want some more. No, no, no. Ask them if they want some more. Ask them if they want. Now, watch their face, how they tell you they don't want no more. Because they had you. <laughs> you was enough. Yeah, if 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 kids were so fun, they would say, "Yeah, I want I want some no more kids." <laughs> but if, but it, 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 then in in the brown community and the black community, they didn't even plan them. They didn't even <laughs> ask them if they plan to have you. No black people plan to have no kid. You always ooh. <laughs> Only body wants to have kids and somebody ain't never had one. And the time of life has passed. Nobody want to have. Ask them. Ask them, do you want some more kids, mama? They would look sideways at you. And, and then ask them if they were sober when they had you. <laughs> ask them if they were sober when they when they. <laughs> Ask her, Mama, was y'all sober? Was you and Daddy sober when y'all? <laughs> ask him to swear on the Bible if they were sober. <laughs> they gonna probably tell you. Ask him, take, go in the room and say, was y'all, Mama, put your hand on the Bible. Daddy, was y'all sober? <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Most of them probably wasn't sober when they, they <laughs> nobody won't know. <laughs> you know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> was y'all so, was y'all sober? <laughs> you know they sat down and prayed and they they, they, they was, <laughs> they, they, they was, they was I tell you. Somebody, somebody got to tell y'all the truth. <laughs> they in church now, but ask them when they, they was they was they was handling. They was in friends with Mister Budweiser, <laughs> Mister Mister Mister. I'm, I'm sorry, forgive me, but they, 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 Yeah, say yeah, I heard the singer. So with this young thank you. Thank you. So with this younger generation, you you it's in the earth. Let's look at the scripture here. Let's look at a couple of scriptures here. Praise God. Listen, I don't want to give y'all a complex here. Y'all was, was conceived in love. <laughs> For the nine months they carried you, no charge. <laughs> no charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, but yeah, 
No, it was a blessing when they found out they was with you. It was a blessing. It was a blessing. But <laughs> no, God don't make. He didn't make no mistakes. No, he didn't make no mistakes. He didn't make no mistakes. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Conception is the result of God's natural law. What goes up must come down. Everything that lives must die. When man and woman come together, a baby must be born. You know, it's a part. It, as long as the earth lives, there will be seed time and harvest. Everything brings forth after its kind. Fish swim in water. Guppies float till top. <laughs> say, what do you say, brother? They don't know nothing about that. Second Thessalonians 2 and 10. Yeah, so... Uh, conception is not a miracle except for what God does. So all the young people, if you, you, you don't accidentally get pregnant, it's not an accident. It's a result of obeying natural laws. I don't know how it happened. Yeah, you did. Didn't get it off the toilet seat. It's only been one immaculate conception, and that's Mary, the mother of Jesus. She's the only woman that got pregnant by not having been with a man because she was the thing that was born with her was the Holy Ghost. And and reason, and I, not, I don't say this to shame us. I say this to say that it's become so easy, young men, for you to worship Baal. All of the videos, all of the television, and we've all worshipped Baal in some form, as they were stating, Baal, Baal comes in, in, in a lot of form. But it's becoming easier and easier to worship Baal. And the world is making it that you can worship Baal now with no consequences, with no shame. And again, in my day, uh, it was a shame. And that, was, that was a time when it was a shame for a woman, a young girl to be pregnant and, and not be married. And see, I, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not playing, uh, trying to make anybody feel shame, but it was. And it was even a married woman when she was pregnant. It was a sh she would she would stay in because she would not only be protecting the baby, but society just frowned upon. Um, I don't know that it was right all the time, but just a married woman just trouncing all about, and especially showing her belly. I mean today. I'm just trying to say, <clears throat> and, you, and I'm not the the person who passes moral laws here. So just just work, work with me here. But you you will have a, a a woman, a young girl who's pregnant today, and she'll have a shirt up here to show her belly, and she wants everybody to know she's pregnant, and she's not even married. Now, should she be proud of the fact? That she's pregnant, I, I don't know. But we live in a world that she's pregnant by someone who may have no intentions of taking care of the child. But we live in a time that if you would, if you would dare a preacher, especially old fat preacher like me, to have something to say about it, her family would they get angry at that. Who the h are you to have anything to say about our our cute little Beulah? You know, what about, the, you know, they want to find one of my daughters, a niece or something. What about your old daughter or niece? 
You know, that's how they'll play that off. You, who, you, you can't say nothing about Beulah. They're trying to make it to play the dozens, you know. Let's talk about your family. And all I'm saying is that as a spokesman for God, what is she celebrating? I'm just trying to say how things have changed, you know. <clears throat> I, I come up at a different time, you know. But if if my if my sister had gotten pregnant in 19, I'm born in 55, she's born in 57. I'm sorry, I told you. Age. And if she had gotten pregnant, and then we had went to the church. I'm just trying to show, tell you how different things are. We went to our church, we went to First Baptist Church, and they would have said, saying uh, Conley is pregnant, and uh, we want to have a, 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 a baby shower up at the church. My grandmother, who was in her 60s, would have with her shoe. And my mother, Aretha, she would have been the good Christian she was. She would have, after she beat her, she would have cussed her all in the house and beat her some more. And you know I'm telling the truth. You're going to go up that church and you don't have a husband and you're going to have a baby shower? And you expect all them people to bring you some gifts like we part? Oh, P.O. And you could have tried to talk about how much Christian love. Mama, they love me up there. Shepherd, Shepherd Baptist Church or whatever. See, they said, you ain't embarrassing us like that. It just shows you how things have changed because they were saying, well, even though we know you got pregnant by him and you and the boy love each other, just something about it. We, we are not going to do that. Because they even had a certain amount of pride that said that love for you to take care of the baby. We're not even taking that sorry something to court. We as a family going to take care of little June Bug. We're not taking going to no court over him like that and have he be feeling that guilt that his daddy didn't want him and all. They wouldn't even do that. They said, well, we're going to take care of him. Now, later on, you know, you had one of them mamas that say, get him and suck him dry for everything he got. But, but y'all know back in the day, you just let everybody in the family. He was the, she or she was the most well taken care of kid in the house. Everybody felt sorry for little June, but he had the best shoes, the best clothes, the best Christmas toys. Because they was like, you know what, he ain't got no daddy. She ain't got no daddy. And the family took care of him. And he, he or she stayed at all the aunties' houses, uncles, and everybody did for that child. Because they weren't going to let it be drug out in the court that the Conley family or the Smith family, whatever, they down at the courthouse fighting over little, over little uh, the munchkin, you know. They, they wasn't going to let it be out like that, man. Come on. They, somebody snatched him up and said, uh-uh, we ain't going out in the court fighting over it. I'm taking him. But then we come to the place where somebody say, hey, <laughs> we went downhill, man. Bell got into it. And all I'm trying to say is that Bell is big because we as Christians, we sit back and we're watching Bell tear up our families, watching him take our daughters. I ain't trying to tell you how to think, but mama, she thinking about, well, I got married. See, when, 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 when I came up, you got married right out of high school. Because I tell y'all, uh, my age, and you say, oh, Lord, that's freakish. But no, that's when you got married. You got married right out of high school. But y'all are taught, don't get married till you're 40. After you done slept with 100 people and wore yourself out. Oh, shoot, you try getting married in high school. Man, your uncles and aunties, all of them going to laugh you. Use, use whoops. You, you ain't 
your mama pull her shoe off. You ain't finna marry her. You ain't your daddy. Boy, you need to get some experience. They won't see you get trifling. They want you to worship Baal. Oh, well, y'all ain't gonna say nothing because I'm telling the truth. They want you to get sin all on you. Because if you start talking about, I will, I'm going to the prom, then I want to marry, I want to marry my prom date. <laughs> they be like, you is, you ain't either. You'll be the talk of your family, man. You try that. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. They be, you got your nose open. They don't say that no more. Something wrong with you. You going to marry her? Well, I can't keep my hands off her. I, I, I got the hots for her. I'm 16 and I feel for her. I feel for him. Daddy, I want to give him my love. And I, 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 you ain't had a bunch of men in your bed. You ain't stayed out all night and drank. You ain't traveled. Like, see, I don't want you to live like I live. It didn't go nowhere but right here in Oklahoma. I want you to travel the world. Go to Texas. <laughs> I want you to at least get, get the Waco. <laughs> That's what, you, you know good and well. You know it. <laughs> but I want to marry this one. You don't marry the first one. Because you're teaching them to worship male. Am I telling the truth? And you think you teaching them truth. Because it's so powerful of a, of, a, of a teaching that I sound like a fool. There ain't no way it's going to work. They be broke up the first year. Because the mindset you got is you got to have nine men in your life or nine different women in order to feel how it go. Because Baal taught you. And I sound like a fool. You don't. You don't. Whether it would have, thank you, whether it would have worked right out of high school or not, we went from when a boy and a girl came into the time of life to I can't get married till I got my own career, I got my own house, I'm experiencing sex. I got my own bank account. I got all of this account. I got all this experience. Can't nobody play me. I can't be nobody fool. And we put that on our kids. And then they don't they don't know they don't know they don't know when because Bill is all in our 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 culture. That's all I'm trying to say. I ain't trying to say nobody get married out of high school right now. I ain't trying to say that. I know it, but I'm just trying to get us to think objectively. Are you hearing me? I'm not trying to tell you when to tell your kids to do it, but I'm trying to tell you how deeply it's in. Do I want my kid to do that? I don't know. I'm trying to say that there are some of us in our generation that wasn't a weird thing to do. But all of a sudden, just a little while later, that's crazy. And then people say, well, uh, you know what? Uh, some of those people are still married. What happened? God didn't change. The people may have changed, but God didn't change. Yeah. But 
it's Baal that came in and got into our, our you want to share that with everybody? Yeah, and it ain't that it's easy to do that. Let's give them a hand. Let's give them a hand because in July, they're coming up on golden. Let's give them another hand. 50 years. 50 years of nothing but laughter and playtime and just joy and giggling. Hey, give them another hand. 50 years. Some of y'all working on five. 50 <laughs> <laughs> but 50 years of nothing but giggling and tickling and just yes, dear, and yes, honey. And oh, if I could do 50 more, <laughs> hallelujah. 50 years in the trenches. My God. Two life sentences. If you murdered somebody, you got out twice. <laughs> Get out the penitentiary twice if you murdered somebody. Sister Lee, if you'd have, if you'd have shanked him, you'd have been let go twice. <laughs> if, you'd have, if you'd have slit his throat, he'd have let you go home twice. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Those of you been married know what I'm talking about. Five O. <laughs> That's what we gonna call them. Here come five O. <laughs> but hey, uh, my young people, listen to me. Y'all think y'all think we 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 old and don't know nothing. But we're here to tell you that we love you. We're praying for you. Baal is in the land, and he after your soul. Uh, I was supposed to get a scripture, but 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10. Let's look.